From nearly extinct a few decades ago to being one of the fastest growing large breeds, the Connie Corso is an all-round impressive canine. From their affectionate nature to their fierce protection instincts, this large breed isn't one you should bring into your home without being thoroughly educated. In today's video, we're going to cover all of the basics of the Regal Connie Corso. Welcome back to the Connie Corso Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Debojo. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenriaCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Connie Corso. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect Connie Corsos. So, if you're a lifelong Connie Corso lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new Connie Corso, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a future Connie Corso video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll introduce you to the key breed facts you should know before considering a Connie Corso. The Connie Corso, also called the Italian Mastiff, has exploded in popularity over the last several years, in large part thanks to their AKC recognition in 2010, making them one of the newest breeds in the registry despite their long history. The Corso, as we know today, are descended from ancient Roman war dogs turned farm dogs after the fall of the empire were nearly extinct by the mid 19th century. At that time, they could only be found in a very small backcountry region of Italy until the 1970s when a group of fanciers came together to resurrect the dying breed. Since then, the breed's popularity has skyrocketed and their genetic pool has significantly expanded across the world. Today, the Corso isn't recognized in a group with the Kennel Club based in the UK, but is still ranked 49th out of 244 breeds here. The American Kennel Club, however, recognizes the Corso as part of the working group and ranks them as the 32nd most popular out of 196 breeds. Keep in mind that while they are an exceptional breed, they are best for experienced canine leaders that are calm and consistent with boundaries. They also don't do well alone for long periods of time, so make sure you watch my other videos on these gorgeous dogs before bringing one into your home. Now, let's get into the size of these massive dogs because make no mistake, even the smallest are still pretty big. The AKC standards dictate that male corsi, the plural of corso, stand between 25 to 27.5 inches at the withers, while females can be slightly smaller and range from 23.5 to 26 inches tall. The KC standards dictate that male corsi stands between 24.5 to 27.5 inches at the withers, while females can be slightly smaller and range from 22.8 to 26 inches tall. This variation between UK and US standards is common, and many breeds are somewhat larger in the US than their UK cousins. Being such a newly recognized breed, there is still quite a bit of variation in size across the globe but they are becoming more standardized. The AKC standards dictate that a Corso's weight should be proportional to their height, but don't give concrete guidelines in terms of pounds. You'll find current owners in Facebook groups report full grown weights for either sex range between 90 to 150 pounds. The KC has a much more narrow range, with male corsi weighing between 100 to 110 pounds, while females can be slightly smaller and range from 88 to 100 pounds. They are a lean and powerfully muscled breed, so they need plenty of low impact exercises every day, along with a high quality diet. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. The most common health tests relate to hip and elbow dysplasia, which are quite common in Corsos and many other large breed dogs. They may also want to screen for heart defects 
though they can be hard to test accurately for, depending on potential condition and severity. Watch for eye issues that are common in breeds like this with loose skin and digestive problems like bloat that can also occur with these larger canines. Because of their size, you'll find that any health issues they do have, and even routine vet visits, can cost more. So quality pet insurance would be wise and a good investment to consider as well. You can expect to pay $1,000 to $3,000 for a well-bred Corso from a quality breeder, but you'll find them outside of that range as well, depending on your location, the pedigree, and their registration status. Keep in mind that you'll likely need to invest in training, high-quality food, pet insurance, heartworm medication, and other things that tend to be more expensive given their size. Getting your new Corso will be the lowest cost, so be prepared for the ongoing expenses. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Connie Corso videos coming out every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Connie Corso Show.